Hey, greetings. Good Friday. Hello, everyone. It's great to see you again <coughs> on Friday for Noonday Prayer. I hope uh, you're having a good, good week this week. <laughs> We're doing um, Psalm 31. Again, that was the psalm last Friday. Um, and the reading is Luke 6 starting at verse 17, which is uh, Beatitudes. Ah. And I have chosen for today the commemoration of Thomas Akempis, which actually was Wednesday, not today, but <laughs> I think you'll like what he had to say. Let's begin. All right. Oh, God, make speed to save us. Oh, Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, to the Son, and to the, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Psalm, Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. <clears throat> Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our <clears throat> help and shield. Our heart is glad in him, because we trust in his holy name. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. Glory to the Father, and to, to the Son, and, and to, to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. And the reading, Luke six, seventeen through 23. Jesus stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea, Jerusalem, and the coast of Tyre and Sidon. They had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases, and those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured. And all in the crowd were trying to touch him, for power came from him and healed all of them. Then he looked up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you and revile you, and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice on that day and leap for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven, for that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. <clears throat> Today is the commemoration of the parents, the mother and father of the Blessed Virgin Mary. That's it. Ah. <laughs> Very little is known. <laughs> uh, there's no mention in the Bible of the parents of Mary, and very little is known of them. And so I skipped back a day or two, and I found <laughs> Tompa, Thomas Akempis, uh and that's about it. Very little is known about <laughs> Thomas Akempis, um, about his life. But one thing, as with the parents of Mary, uh, if you do one really important thing, you go down in history for that one thing. Oh, boy. And Thomas Akempis, one thing, is writing The Imitation of Christ a classic devotional literature um, in about 1471 is when he died. So um, this writing has been 
the, the go-to devotional writing for um, the Jesuits, the, uh, Ignatius of Loyola favored this book um, throughout history. Um, who were the brothers, the Methodist, uh, Fran uh, went out right out of my head. The brothers who founded Methodism, Wesley, Wesley. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, favored this book. Um, and I'm going to post a link to it so you can find it for free online uh, because it's quite a reading. Of, <laughs> and its uh, uh, title is taken quite well, The Imitation of Christ. And it's a devotional writing on you know, the world may be falling apart. Uh, woe is me from the psalm and I need help. Um, but one-on-one, -on -one, imitating the life of Jesus, keep it focused on, on that, things that you can do something about it, as uh, opposed to losing heart because things are so uh, at la uh, larger things are so out of control. Um, Thomas Akempis helps us focus down on just ourself and our relationship with God. I wanted to give you one little reading, and I'm going to post the link so you can find more because this is going to whet your appetite, I believe. Of we must imitate Christ's life and His ways if we're to be truly enlightened and set free from darkness of our own hearts. Let it be the most important thing we do, the imitation of Christ. What can the world offer you without Jesus? To be without Jesus is hell most grievous. To be with Jesus is to know the sweetness of heaven. If Jesus is with you, no enemy can harm you. Whoever finds Jesus finds a rich treasure and a good above every good. He who loses Jesus loses much indeed and more than the whole world. Poorest of all men is he who lives without Jesus and richest of all is he who stands in favor with Jesus. It is great art to know how to hold conversation with Jesus and to know how to keep Jesus is wisdom indeed. Be humble and a man of peace and Jesus will abide with you. Be humble and of peace and Jesus will abide with you. But if you turn aside to worldly things, you'll soon cause Jesus to leave you and you will lose his grace. And if you drive him away and lose him, with whom may you take refuge? And whom will you seek for your friend? Without a friend, you cannot live happily. And if Jesus is not your best friend, you will be exceedingly sad and lonely. So it's foolish to trust or to light or delight in any other it's better to have the whole world as your enemy than offend Jesus. Therefore, of all dear friends, let Jesus be loved first and above all. Love all men for Jesus' sake, but Jesus for his own sake. Wow. That kind of brings it down to... <laughs> Don't let the big stuff uh, get in the way and think you can solve great national, international problems. Worry about a one-on-one -on -one relationship with Christ. And that's our message uh, for today. Be humble and Jesus will be your friend. I wonder if a certain bishop that we all know... Oh, that we... <laughs> has read that. That we speak of now and then? That we speak of now and then. You're talking about... 
Michael Curry, aren't you? I am. That's all I could think of was that, as you read that. <laughs> he, Michael Curry is. If he hasn't <laughs> read that, he's still living it. <laughs> he summed that up, didn't he? I mean, yep. for That defines uh, yep. Defines his ministry and, and, you know, if it's not about love. Hey. It's not about God. I hope uh, the next bishop, Sean, Sean Bishop Sean will... We'll carry that forward carry as a mantra. That, yes, they're starting to meet and have discussions, so mm -hmm. I'm sure uh, Bishop Curry is going to uh, extend his knowledge. His tutelage. His tutelage, okay, yeah. to Sean, who is, in my opinion, more than ready yeah. to assume this role. It's a great guy. Yeah, well, good let's, friend. Let's move on to our prayers. Let's do <clears throat> Our Father in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be your name. name. Your, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And save us from the time of trial. And deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. <clears throat> Holy Father, you have nourished and strengthened your church by the inspired writings of your servant, Thomas Kempis. Grant that we may learn from him to know what is necessary to be known, to love what is to be loved, to praise what highly pleases you, and always to seek... <clears throat> to know and follow your will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Let's join your prayers with those on our parish prayer list today and lift them to God. We pray for the repose of the soul of Brid Spangler. We pray for health and prosperity for Dot Fremd, Philip Todd, Bonnie Maxoner, Jim Pernini, Tom Crockett, Seal McCoy, Harriet Woodhouse, Kathy Garrett, Ann Annis and Dick Cressy, Charlie Swift, Barbara Caffrey, Holly Payne, Dave Jacques, Beck Saunders, Tommy Succi, Peter Hogg, Frank Swiger, John Cossey, and Kathy Reese. Maggie Clickman, Henry Vasilio, Elizabeth Falsetti, Connie Cosgrove, Steve Russell, Denise DeConte, Rick Williamson, Linda Halsta, J. Ann Hudson, Alexandra Carter, Jennifer Lee, Bill Gentry, Ben Gentry, Edith Watakar, Chris Jones, Rose Paludin, Sarah Hill, Claudia Rawlings, Rob Mathias, Denny Coors, and Larry Dulligan. We join those with your prayers and lift them to God. We continue to pray for God's vision of a beloved community to be our vision for this world, for our nation, for our community. We pray for peace in our nation and in the world, and we constantly lift up Ukraine, Syria, Sudan, Gaza, and Israel as troubled places around the world. With that, we have some good news. Some anniversaries and <coughs> birthdays. A lot of we birthdays. Do. Several birthdays, yes. Uh, today, Leslie Miller, Jim Pernini, hey. Caroline Strickland, and Brenna Pope are all celebrating their special well, day. Well, that's a good day to have a birthday. You're in yeah. good company. And on Saturday, Lily Burroughs and Nancy oh. Cantrell are also celebrating their special day. So we wish them the very best on their special day and uh, may God bless every each, day. Every one of Each you. and every day. That's yes. a group I'd like to get together for a party. <laughs> Have a, Be an interesting a, group. A, a common birthday party mm -hmm. together. And Great anniversaries folks. today, Trent and Sally Dudley are oh, celebrating good. their wedding anniversary. And tomorrow, Lisa and Aaron Teeling, Teeling. are mm. celebrating 
their special days together. So we wish them blessings on mm -hmm. their day and in the years to come. It's a blessing to share this uh, uh, day with you. I hope it, you know, it comes with another year of peace, love, and joy together. Some good folks. Mm -hmm. We're finished uh, for today. Please keep your um, eye on the emails and bulletins. It's a, a regular summer, summer schedule with 10 o'clock, uh, 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock, and 5 o'clock. Uh, Friday or Saturday, one evening, is the screening of the... Uh, no, it was last night. Oh, it was last night. Yeah. Last night. Um, Bob and Lissy and um, who's it, the youth director? Thanks. <laughs> hmm? We'll be uh, in Philadelphia, so I want you to keep them in your prayers as they try to na navigate the large city with a group of a couple dozen teenagers that uh, <coughs> that they can uh, pick up on the message that comes out of this uh, this this uh, excursion. It's a wonderful opportunity for them to experience things we talk about in situ. And so we'll sign off with peace and blessings and look forward to being with you next Friday. Now by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Take care. See you around church.